so we want to accept vendor 4003 but reject the other two vendors how do we do that go to me 49 the price comparison put the collective number in there hit execute and we said we want to accept the first vendor the vendor that was ranked first but reject the vendor 2 and vendor 3 right select that line item the one that you want to reject and click on quotation select rejection indicator save same thing with the vendor that has ranked the third select it go to quotation reject indicator save that means that the first vendor is selected but the second and third are rejected so now we have to send the messages to the vendor saying hey you know what you have been rejected you go to print transmit put the numbers in there what are the numbers uh 6 7 if you don't know those numbers that's fine too you can just go click on the possible list of values and go by the collective number 2001 and hit enter and it automatically picks up all the purchasing documents the rfqs that we have created against that particular collective number click ok click ok now we only need to send the rejection letter to two of these vendors so select them and click outward message and if you want to see them you just go click on display message you can, you can see that it's a rejection letter and it's related to the particular RFQ when it was dated what were the materials that we asked for etc etc now we can also send an acceptance letter to the first vendor right and how do you do that so instead of ABSA in the message type ABSA is a rejection letter quotation rejection right there's also a quotation acceptance output and instead of ABSA which is a quotation rejection you could have NEU which is the, the message that you send when you create the quotation or you can create your own custom success bidding message which SAP standard does not have and use that message to print the corresponding output for a successful bid now this is not the message for a successful bid it's a message that goes out when you issue the RFQ but uh, standard SAP does not have the successful message output and uh, in order to have that you have to create your own custom message now outputs and messages is something that we have not seen yet we'll see that in customizing in one of the later chapters but for now just understand that it's going to be a message type here you select a successful quotation message type as opposed to rejection and select that RFQ number or quotation number and execute select that quotation number and click on output message so this should send the accepted or successfully accepted message to the vendor 4003 so this completes the RFQ and quotation process so what have we done here we have asked for 100 kilos from these three vendors and asked them to submit a quotation we have done that through the RFQ step number one and we have tagged all these RFQs with a collective number called 2001 and after some time step number two the vendors have responded and we have recorded their terms like prices what payment terms they're ready to offer uh, when they can deliver the goods by so on and so forth step number three is we did a price comparison we did a price comparison between the different quotations that we received and SAP helped us finalize which vendor offered the lowest price and all the higher prices were rejected we sent them rejection letters and the successful bidder was accepted and we sent him an acceptance letter 
So we have successfully completed the quotation process. Now what do we do?